Hi, it's Don here in Santa Fe with a new Chapita story. So when we evaluate bracelets, quite often I'm asked, what is the differences between a $1,000 bracelet and a $6,000 bracelet? So I bought two great examples for you to take a look at. Let's investigate that answer. So the first one we're going to look at is a bracelet that has a nice stone, um, a serrated bezel. It has an interesting applique design. And what throws me a little bit is this twisted wire on top of this heavy ingot silver. And when we look at the inside of it, it is a little bit messy where it was soldered. And uh, there's an inscription in there that says Santa Fe 1960s. I would guess that this is a 1960s bracelet that was most likely made as a replica of an older one. It's quite heavy, so that tends to throw me a little bit as well. Um, so was this a hobbyist or was it a silversmith? We're really not quite sure. When we look at another bracelet though, this is truly a museum quality bracelet because here we have a cuff from my own personal collection that dates to about the turn of the century, 1890 to 1910, has a fabulous natural surface stone. It has a great pie crust bezel, early, early applique design with chisel marks. It has extraordinary wear, and patina. This is a $6,000 bracelet, a one-of-a-kind piece. So much like buying a car, you can choose to buy a Honda or you can buy a Bugatti. They'll both get you there. They just do it in a different style. So I hope you enjoyed this version of Chapita Stories. And until next time, Hagone.